They're in the gate. And they're off in the chandelier. Chatelis is very quick away from the gate, and so is Dua. Those two pull clear in the early stages. Just behind them, Autumn Chill is in third. Pacific Rose is down on the inside. And a little bit eager as well, right behind the front runner as they move around the clubhouse turn. Gate to Paradise, three deep with three and a half lengths to make up. Followed by Laurent, who's widest of all. Motet is just inside of hers, scalable down at the rail, and Pink Whitney is at the back of the field. They move on to the backstretch behind Chatelis, who leads it by about a half a length. Over Dua in second. It's a length and a half back to Pacific Rose in third. And outside of her, Gate to Paradise now taking that third spot. Autumn Chill is fifth, four lengths off the lead. Laurent is comfortable just outside of hers. Seven lengths off the pace coming to the half mile pole. Scalable, Motet between those two. And Pink Whitney has been at the back throughout. They move into the far turn, and it's Chatelis who's been the controlling speed. Tracked throughout by Dua, three quarters back in second. Pacific Rose, Gate to Paradise, still side by side. A hard ridden Autumn Chill is in fifth. Followed at the rail by Scalable. Laurent still with a lot of work to do and not responding as the field turns for home. And here's Dua on the outside on even terms with Chatelis. They come for home together. A good run from Pacific Rose in the center of the racetrack. Scalable making progress at the rail. There's an eighth of a mile to go. And Chatelis is digging in, fending off Dua thus far with a 16th to run and in fact pulling away from her. And it's Chatelis to lead them all the way in the chandelier under Ant Antonio Fresu. Scalable came through to complete the exacta. Dua was third, followed by Pacific Rose, and Gate to Paradise finished fifth. And now entering the winner's circle is Chatelis, a two-year-old bay filly by Gunrunner out of Indian Safari, owned by Agnew and Rancho Temescal Thoroughbred Partners, the winning trainer Mark Glatt and the jockey Antonio Fresu. Chatelis was bred in Kentucky by co-owner Dan Agnew. The running time, 1 minute 44.28 seconds. Breeders' Cup congratulates Chatelis for winning the Chandelier Stakes. A Breeders' Cup Challenge win in your in race for the Grade 1 $2 million Net Jets Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies this fall here at Santa Anita Park. Winning is just the beginning. Directing your attention to the winner's circle, making the trophy presentation to the connections of Chatelis, Santa Anita Park is pleased to welcome once again Courtney Reed, Breeders' Cup Senior Director, Racing and Industry Relations. Chatelis takes the grade two chandelier in fine fashion here with not only her owner, but also her breeder, Dan Agnew. Dan, how are you feeling right now? Cloud nine? Cloud nine, uh, that would describe it, yeah. Especially, you know, with a homebred like this, it's a great thrill. And, uh, you know, Mark's done a great job with the filly. Uh, the man that was on the farm, I'd sold some fillies out of this mare. He said, this is one I think you ought to keep. And I, I think he was right. You bred it to Gunrunner. He's done wonderful things this year already with some of his progeny. What was one of the main reasons? Yeah, I think, you know, the way Gunrunner's, uh, you know, proven he's a, a great sire of uh, both fillies and colts was a big reason that I decided to keep her and race her. Onward to the Breeders' Cup. On to the Breeders' Cup. Yeah, we hope she uh, comes out well and, and uh, looking forward to it. And Agnew, congratulations and best of luck with the Breeders' Cup. Thank you so much. Chatless takes down the grade two chandelier.